Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be printing from the Uninet i560 and uh, I will be showing you everything step by step. So let's get the first design. Click on the green uh, plus sign. Click on the design you want. Send it to the software. Takes a few seconds to load in. Um, crop it to size so you'll see that on the bottom there where you click on crop and it'll open another window and you're able to crop it as close as you want to the image in order for you to take advantage of the whole uh, printing sheet now you won't have to crop every single design it all depends on how it was made um, you just use your criteria and um, so now here what I'm doing is just clicking create so it'll save it and it'll go back to the original screen as you will see here and then I will enlarge it and try to make it fit on the whole sheet just so that um, I can get a bigger design for the shirt Just something to remember that whenever you are enlarging it uh, make sure that you are staying within the lines and you'll be able to see if you are going over because on the outer side of the image it'll turn red and that means that you have passed the lines so you'll need to make it smaller and just stay within the lines you you can zoom zoom in like I'm doing right now so you'll you'll be able to see the line margins that it has and I am getting it as close as possible because I want a big image. So when you think it's good enough and you're ready to print, just make sure that the image is highlighted. Click on the rainbow printing icon and it'll send it to the printer. Now you need to, to insert the A sheet, which is a printing sheet, in the slot here. This is called the bypass tray. Make sure that the glossy side is facing up. You are going to push it in until it grabs it. You will feel it grabbing it, and then it'll be ready for it to print. So when you see the blue light blinking, that means it's processing. It takes quite a bit for it to process. Uh, you also see the red light there. That means that the tray is empty. And that's because I did not have the sheet in there before I clicked print. You're supposed to have the sheet in there before you click print. But it'll still work. You'll, it'll just take a little bit longer. All right, so this is the first image. And I am liking how it looks look at the colors look at the white ink it is so nice look at that white toner the image is pretty nice the only thing i don't like about this design is that it looks like it's a distressed look like they made it that way that's how they designed it so i want to try another one another different design and see how it looks so I want, I'm gonna do this one I already clicked print and it's uh, active as you can see there it's already active it's already sending it to the printer and this time I do have the sheet in the printer already in the slot so the red light won't be blinking just the blue light and look as it says processing so now let's wait for it to print so here's the second one and I like the colors it looks really nice very vibrant um, but it doesn't have any holes like the other design so i guess the other design was just made that way to be 
a just in a distressed look so yeah I thought my printer was you know having problems or something but no so here I'm just showing you one more time to how to insert the sheet shiny side up make sure it grabs it and click print and this will be another same image that I did for the man with the cow so let's see how it comes out so there it is it's looking really really nice I like the colors I have to print a couple of more so but I'm not gonna record that I'm just gonna you know show you what is the next step which is joining the a sheet with the b sheet so the a sheet is a sheet where you printed the image and you will place that on the heat press with the shiny side down and then the adhesive paper you will place it on top of that sheet but with the yellow lines facing up okay and then you would just align everything together fold uh, one of the corners so you'll be able to pull it apart when it comes to that part and then you put a piece of butcher paper or a piece something underneath so that you won't get glue on your heat press and then cover it either with a teflon sheet or one of these wax papers that they give you when you get the printer I have the heat press set for 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 120 seconds and uh, very very light pressure you do not need a lot of pressure at least that's what worked for me so here comes the fun part um, you're going to have to get a piece of cloth maybe two I am grabbing two because this thing is really hot and you will burn yourself so you need two pieces of cloth that are thick um, and then you have to rub it like I'm showing you here rub it for like five seconds and then start pulling grab onto the ends and you will pull rolling away not pulling up you will be rolling away slowly but steady and do not um, pull up because otherwise you'll lose part of your image so here is the first one and I think it turned out really nice um, you just get a little bit of glue residue left all around the the sheet but you can just trim it off I cut it off uh, with the scissors so it's no big deal so I will show you again how it's done just to get more practice so like I said the A sheet glossy side down first um, and then the other the B sheet on top we're making, making sure that the yellow lines are facing up make a little fold and cover it and then press it I wanted to mention something that the printer comes with um, its own instructions on how to set the time and temperature and pressure I did follow the instructions but it didn't work for me I am giving you this time and temp and pressure because this is what works for me so you will have to find what works for you So here we go again um, we're going to take off the sheet rub it with the cloth it's about five seconds that you can do that no more than that is needed and then start pulling away make sure you grab your pieces of cloth because it is hot let me tell you it is hot so and also make sure you're keeping it laying on the bottom plate or platen 
and pull away, rolling away, I should say, not um, lifting up. So slowly and steady. All right, so I'm going to show you this sheet um, where the adhesive was and you can see the imprint of the image there. That means that the glue just went on the white toner, which is where it's supposed to be. All right, and now I'm going to show you how to press it. So for any shirt that I press, I always pre-press it for one, two, three seconds to get the moisture out, which I forgot to film, and then I lint it. Now to press the design, you will keep the temperature at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, but the time will be only 30 seconds and the pressure will be very very high pressure and uh, also when you are done pressing it do not peel away you have to wait till it cools down completely all right so then let's press all the shirts Once it's completely cooled down, then you can go ahead and remove the film. Um, what you're going to do is you will find an area where you can pull up gently and then start rolling away. All right, so I wanted to remove the film again the same way I did the first one and it didn't work. I struggled with this one so much and you will see I left it in the video so you can see. Um, I had to repress all the shirts again except for the little one. That one was pretty fast. I was able to pull it off. I had no trouble. Um, but the other ones I had to repress them all because... I guess I just didn't press it correctly so you whenever this happens that you cannot pull from one edge you I mean you just know that it's not gonna roll away like it should because it should roll away um, that means that you need to repress it again for the full 30 seconds and then wait till it cools down and then pull it off when I went back and repressed the other ones I waited for them to cool down and I was able to remove them as I did the very first one. Um, I had no trouble after that. So there's something for you that might help you in case you run into this kind of problem. Okay, all done. Now we have to do the final press because look at the shine. I don't like the shine. It looks like it's cracked, but it's not. It just has that look. So you have to do the final press. And we will use the T-seal sheet to do that. Uh, you can also use Teflon sheet, whatever. It doesn't matter. But this T-seal sheet can only be used at 20, 270 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 seconds, firm pressure. And this is supposed to take that shine off and then press the image like into the fabric so it'll look better.
when the 30 seconds are up you have to count five seconds and then peel away so peel away and there it is all the shininess is gone no more shine no more looking cracked it looks like it's pressed into the material the colors came out okay not very bright vibrant but i'm thinking it's just the way the design was made these are other shirts that i made using the printer and i think they turned out fabulous i hope you like this video i hope you learned something and if you do have any questions leave them in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer them and um, don't forget to subscribe to share my videos and to like my videos